John, you know the demo team would never let you down. So what I have right behind me is we're going to introduce live on CompuTech stage this year the Sean Shrinkinator. Wow. Still working on the name a little bit. But it's all teched out and it's ready to go. So all you need to do is step inside, safety first, Sean, make sure you grab those. Step inside and then I'm going to use the awesome power of the second generation core machine here. We're going to rearrange your molecular structure and shrink you down to about 100 nanometers. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Sounds simple enough. Of course it is. Piece of cake. So uh, we bring the uh, tiny little camera down here. And so once we get you down small enough, we'll still be able to communicate between uh, you and I back to the audience. So hop right in. Um, you've tested this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Test is always a relative term, Sean. Let's just, you know, we're going to do this live. All right, Sean. Here we go. Shrinking down. What a ride! Thanks, Craig. Can you see me and hear me okay? You're looking good from up here, boss. Great. Well, I'm now approximately 100 nanometers tall. Way smaller than this human head, which is not mine. <laughs> it's also the perfect size to give you an up close look at a single transistor, like this one. This is a planar or 2D transistor, the kind that has been at the forefront of transistor design for the last 40 years. And this is Intel's new 3D transistor. We call this a tri-gate transistor. It operates at a lower voltage with lower leakage for dramatically improved performance and energy efficiency. Now, you can't do a whole lot with just one transistor, but when you configure a billion or more of them in a single chip like this, things really start to get interesting. Craig. Bring me up to the next level. Okay, next stop on the shrink train. Here we go. Great. So, here is our 22 nanometer ivory bridge chip, populated with over a billion transistors. Now, Add some smart software to the chip like this and you can enable all kinds of useful functions with the benefits of greater performance and lower power with higher degrees of integration. This is the transistor architecture that will enable another billion people to join the internet revolution, whether by notebook or smartphone or whatever comes next. Now, that's a pretty big deal for such a tiny piece of technology. Craig, beam me up. Okay, coming on back to full size. <laughs> hey, Craig. What's going on out there? Some technical difficulties, no problem. It's always harder to bring it back. Okay. Oh, okay. Device space will also help us 
bring new innovation to the peace with this sea space. The PC segment continues to grow rapidly. Today, we're shipping about a million PCs a day. That will nearly double in five years. So how is this possible? Right now, about a billion people own a PC. The affordability gap keeps another 3.5 billion out of the market. Closing the affordability gap is one of the smartest strategies the industry can pursue. This chart looks at how many